Yes, now we'll discuss about the anatomy of urinary bladder. First of all, part one. Here is the diagram. This is pubic symphysis. This is prostate gland, this is urinary bladder. Here is urogenital diaphragm. This is position of perineal body. This is rectum, and this is inner canal. This is rectum, this is inner canal, this is ample of the rectum. So this is urinary bladder, here is ureter, here is position of This is wash difference and here is seminal vesicle. This is prostate. Here is neck of the unibladder. This is male pelvis, male pelvic cavity in which unibladder is situated. So unibladder is a reservoir of urine and it present into the anterior part of the pelvic cavity in case of adult male or female so this is diagram of the male urinary and here and the diagram this is pubic symphysis This is urinary bladder in female. This is uterus. This is cervix. Here is vagina. This is perineal body. And here is position of Rectum and canal. This is rectum and canal. So this is urinary bladder in female. Its average capacity is about one twenty to three twenty milliliter, and its mean capacity is about two twenty EMS. And its anatomical capacity, anatomical capacity is about one liter or twelve hundred milliliter. One liter to twelve hundred milliliter. This anatomical capacity, it is the amount of urine by which the unibladder ruptures. So this is anatomical capacity. Position of unibladder. If you see the position, this position varies. 
with age and amount of the urine the volume of the urine in here in this diagram this is position of urine bladder in male and in female pelvic cavity in adult this is adult position in case of infants In infants, position is abdomen pelvic position. This is pubic symphysis. This is pubic symphysis here. In adult, this is pelvic position. This is pelvic position. And in infants, the bladder is like this. It is like this. This position is abdominal pelvic position. This is anterior abdominal wall. So its upper part is related to the anterior abdominal wall. This is infant position. Here another thing you can see. This is infant position. This neck of the urine bladder, neck lies at the level of approximately at the level of upper border of pubic symphysis in infants this is level of neck which lies at the level of superior border of the pubic symphysis this level in infants and in adult you can see here this is neck this is neck it lies approximately at the level of and just above the level of inferior border of pubic symphysis. So this is abdominal pelvic position which is present in infants. This is pelvic position which is present in the adult. And under condition Position may vary with the age, you have seen these variation in infant and adult. And, and the amount of the urine, these are urine bladder, empty urine bladder. And if the urine bladder is full and distended in adult, you can see in adult, if urine bladder is full and distended, then this is pubic symphysis. Here is this is shape and position of the urine bladder. This is ovoid shaped. This shape is ovoid shaped, and it's again it's position here. Its position is abdominal pelvic position, like empty bladder in the infants. So this position and this position is approximately same. Here this is empty bladder in adult. This is distended bladder. Empty bladder is pelvic in position and distended bladder is abdominal pelvic in position. In infants in both condition empty and full bladder both are abdominal pelvic position. So this is all about the urobladder part 1 and one thing and the uh, position and uh, shape. shape. Here you can see the shape is ovoid shaped and here in full bladder the shape is ovoid shaped and in empty bladder shape is tetrahedral shape. Tetrahedral it is like this. This is tetrahedral in position. See, so this is empty and this is 
full bladder. Shape of the full bladder. So this is part one. Thank you.